This is the Impulsive Thinker Podcast, a show for high-achieving ADHD entrepreneurs. Together, we will inform and educate you about how to improve your self-awareness while developing systems, routines, and habits for conquering the entrepreneurial world. Here is your host, Andre Brisson. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed the conversation I had with Warren Barry from Instinctive Solutions on Monday about uh, mental energy management and how we can efficiently use our mental energy and how we can efficiently burn our mental energy inefficiently when we're doing things we're not liking. Um, And I think it's it's very important with the ADHD brain because I think our mental energy capacity is there. It's just how we use it and how we burn it um, is different than others. Um, But what I wanted to talk about was, I, in a way, I, I don't, I know I didn't offend Warren, but the way he reacted, it almost seemed like some people can perceive it as I offended Warren when I called him he was a smart person, and he almost took offense to it to a certain degree. And I wanted to discuss this intelligence. He said there's a difference between intelligence and smart. He's intelligent, and but he's not smart. And don't call me smart. And he made some reference to his early schooling. And I had another conversation with a high-achieving ADHD entrepreneur. And as we were talking, she kept saying, you know, I'm really not that smart. I wasn't smart in school. Um, I'm not a smart person, yet I'm I'm doing all this stuff. She has intelligence. And yet, at the same time, she is smart. So... In order for me to make better sense of this, I leaned into my learner strength and my fact finder and my analytical side, and that is, let's get to the brass tacks. What are the definitions of intelligence, intelligent, and smart? So I went to the dictionary. With my autism, I'm a very literal person, so I am really literal with a lot of words. So I went back to these words because the dictionary, there's no bias. There's no history with this word. There's no social influence. This is the actual definition. And this is why I always go back to. So someone who's intelligent or just intelligent, according to the Oxford dictionary, is having or showing intelligence, especially at a high level. You know, and then I, I like this other part. It was for a subset of a device, machine or building, Intelligent is able to vary its state or action and in response to varying situations, varying requirements, and past experience. Am I going to go to one source? No, I go to another one. So I pulled up the Britannica Encyclopedia, and their definition of intelligent is having or showing the ability to easily learn or understand things or to deal with new or different situations, able to learn and understand things. So since they keep referring to intelligence, I looked at intelligence, the definition of that. In the Oxford Dictionary, intelligence is ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skills. Britannical Encyclopedia is ability to learn or understand things or to deal with new or difficult situations. Okay, so now I'm going to go to smart now. Oxford Dictionary, the informal definition of smart is having or showing quick-witted intelligence. That says what they call an adjective. And if I look at the noun definition, and in reference to North America, smart is intelligence acumen. Britannica Encyclopedia for North America, smart is very good at learning or thinking about things showing intelligence or good judgment. Now, if you look at the British and European, actually smart has more to do with tidiness, being neat and clean, and uh, mainly about pain. You know, it's smart, that hurt, it's smarted, but that person looks smart, uh, tidy and clean. So that's why I say Warren is a smart guy, and he's intelligent. Um, and how can I differentiate that? And I found an, an article on medium.com and I really like this one. And I like this definition, how it separates the two smart and intelligent. Smart people know a lot of facts and are able to draw on this arsenal with ease. Now, intelligent people know a lot of facts, but are driven by a constant curiosity to find out more. 
So it's almost as if that a smart person knows a lot of facts, and yet the intelligent person is the one that used that smartness and applied to real life and judgment and use those facts, right? Um, and that's how I see intelligent being different from smart. Smart is knowing a lot of stuff. Intelligent is applying the stuff you know to life, to things as change, as a as things are changing or progressing or or eventing, or as you grow, as you learn new things, you apply things differently because of the new facts. Um, and what I wanted primarily to discuss here, so now that you got the definition, I still think Warren is a smart person. The other entrepreneur I was talking to was a smart person. But why are they saying I am not smart? Warren is a resistant fact finder. He does not need a lot of details. He needs the bottom line. He needs the bottom line and he gets going. We, I need a lot of facts, more facts than most. I get all the information and I move, okay? I believe, I'm not speaking for Warren, I'm not sure of this, but this is my observation from a lot of people all over, especially entrepreneurs, the people who think differently do th differently. We have problems at school. Why? Because we were not following the script. We were not following the systems. We were not following the programs. Okay. Academic smart is a guideline. It's one way of measuring in smartness. So the facts, if you knew the facts, you got good grades. You were smart. If you did not get good grades because you weren't learning the right facts, you were not smart. My interpretation of Warren's reaction is that he was told as a young kid that he was not smart because he was not getting good marks or he was not learning the stuff he was supposed to learn. Again, someone else's measuring stick, right? I believe that people who are not doing well at school, they are smart, but not according to the school rules. They are very smart at other things. You know, a hands-on tradesperson, journeyman, or craftsperson, they are very smart at doing what they do well, but they're not tested at school. They're tested with the academic and the conceptual, but these people need hands-on projects and models to work on things. So in the academic world, yes, he was not measuring up against the academic world. Therefore, it was perceived that he was not smart. That's what was communicated to him. That is what he believed with time he was not smart, just like the other entrepreneur was mentoring, mess, mess, um, saying, I'm not smart, I'm not smart, I'm not a really smart person because I didn't do well at school, okay? You are a smart person, just in different ways, and it was just not measured. Just because it wasn't measured academically and in the past or according to other people's perceptions does not make you not smart. Warren is very smart in what he does. He's very good at understanding how to make a team work. He is very smart with the Colby concept and the theory. He's really good at applying that. He knows a lot of facts about how to make a team work efficiently, how a team can communicate properly. Is this something we learned at school? No. He knows all this because of his experience and the facts that he's gained with experience. That's why I think he's a very smart person. He knows all those facts. Now, what makes him very intelligent is the fact that he can apply it and teach others to do it and work well. So my, it's like everything I've been saying with the ADHD world is that we are being measured and gauged with someone else's measuring stick, which we will always fail. We've got to go and get our own measuring stick and compare to our abilities and our unique abilities and what we do well and what we want to do. So what do you think about the difference with intelligence and smart? I do believe how society measures smartness is not the real ability to be smart or how someone is smart. Everyone is smart in their own way, and we just have to respect that and value that and not be ashamed and not get that, in a way it was a trigger from his, from the, from the past. 
He was told he was dumb. He couldn't do well because he wasn't smart because he wasn't measuring up in school. But Warren is a smart guy, very intelligent guy. And you, the listener, because you're here listening, trying to learn new things, you are a very intelligent and smart person. Thanks again for listening. And I hope this was helpful. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Impulsive Thinker podcast. If you enjoyed it, subscribe, rate, and review the show. It helps us get discovered by listeners like you. If you can share this with two other people, that will be greatly appreciated. Please go to our website, tacticalbts.com, to check out the programs we are currently offering, especially the ADHD transformation journey for the high-achieving ADHD entrepreneur. Again, that's the website, tacticalbts.com. Thank you, and talk to you soon. Thank you for listening to the Impulsive Thinker Podcast. If you have a question, comment, or suggestion for the show, please visit theimpulsivethinker.com. The Impulsive Thinker Podcast is produced by Tactical Breakthroughs and hosted by Andre Brisson. Remember, ADHD is only a part of you, not all of you.